Where are you going to go for dinner after your wins? I haven't decided yet. I think I have a lot of picky eaters on my team from, from what I can tell. So we'll, uh, we'll have to see. Every team that I've ever been on always goes to this one place called Soul Tofu. Literally every team. I've been there over like 150 times throughout being on eSports. That's like an abnormal amount to eat at one place, I think. How well has the team been getting along so far? It's only been like a few days. <laughs> Any funny moment or memory? There's not really one one specific funny moment of memory. It's just like uh, our team is really, really, really aggressive. So like, I mean, it always tends to like work out actually, but it's just like fun slash funny to like watch everybody like I'm going in, I'm going in, and it's just like everybody just flashing forward together. It's it's great. And it turns out I'm mortal. Is the battle chant? Luger one will drop the Bud Light Ace. CLG, send their regards, they're gonna be the ones doing it! We all pretty much know each other from past teams or just past friendships, um, just overall in general. I feel like our team has gone along pretty well, especially in game. Like that we've been doing pretty well. I feel like we know what we want to do together, especially around like team fighting. Is there any certain reason that all of you were drawn to play on CLG together? Our playstyle is kind of uh, matched together. We're all pretty aggressive players, I'd say. We all have like that like uh, aggressive instinct, uh, just to fight or to to, to try to uh, set up fights for for teammates or to try to uh, be aggressive. You know they're coming to 2022 with a lot of new structure and new ideas and just a lot, overall a lot of new people. So I think they they have a really good mindset for how they want 2022 to play out. So I'm glad that we could be a part of um, that that process. I really wanted to play with Juan. Um, we're both from the same city. I had a lot of mutual friends that knew about him and just told me about him. And I was like, that's so cool that he can go pro in gaming. Salaries were just going up and stuff. So kind of used him as like a competitive thing to make myself get better. What are your thoughts on the current state of the game? I think the changes are a lot of fun. Um, I know some people are not of that opinion, but I, I like the changes, yeah. I personally think Captech Rift is like a bit, uh, it got nerfed really hard, so I don't think it's like that broken. But I had the discussion like Palafox thinks it's really strong. So I mean, I think it depends on like the players. Chemtech change good. Rift good. Hold on, they're not done yet. Power going in contracts. Oh, straight into a chomper. You hate to see it happen. Danny still the target. They got Palafox him. Does find himself the shutdown and Spike goes through. But contracts. Steals the Drake, crafts the objective bounty and CLG. I think that people underestimate the amount of pre like the amount of uh, agency that AD carries and supports have in pro play. I think Botlane is a little strong right now because of the TP stuff. I think is uh, really important for Botlane. Boom and Luger have been demolishing this bottom side. Um, they were able to put so much work in, uh, chunking them down really low first, then with the heal, move up more, bully them off of tower positioning, get the double themselves. What champion do you think is not fun to play, but is so strong that you have to play? For support, I don't, I mean, it was Yumi, I think, but I mean, yeah, the champion is just boring to play and it was really OP. It, it's not OP anymore, so that's it, not that bad. I don't know, Zoe is so weird. In, in competitive, she is fun to play, like genuinely fun to play. In solo queue, Everything's just kind of a fiesta. Xin Zhao. I think Xin Zhao is really boring and his play style is pretty straightforward. But he's been broken for the past year or so, so you got you gotta put in the work, but where do you wanna go for dinner after your wins? Uh, I like the Mampuka uh, from uh, LA. If it was like my choice, I would go to Kyochan, but like I, I would be down for like anywhere else. I'm not sure. The, I couldn't really say like a name, but probably some Korean barbecue. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. We will eat at either a place called Sujita, a really, really, really good ramen place, or I really like curry. I really, really, really like, I mean, Indian curry or Japanese curry, so one of those places. Does anyone on the team play music? Uh, or do you have any other random hobbies or skills outside of gaming? Yeah, I'm not sure about the other ones. Uh, I used to play guitar, but I don't play guitar anymore. Um, don't really have a hobby either, but my hobby is playing League of Legends. I mean, I like watching anime. Um, I used to be pretty big into the gym before um, COVID, but obviously 
reasons, but um, I'm trying to get back into just like a healthy, healthy lifestyle. I think that's something that I want to improve on. Reading manga, watching anime, stuff like that. It will be, but I wouldn't go like tweeting about like everything. Yeah. yeah. I really like to print, I think like something. Like other than that, like cooking has been pretty fun recently. I've been trying to get into that. When I'm in my parents' house, like I could just use all like the spices and like they just have everything in their fridge. Um, so I can cook a lot over there. And like when I'm at home, I have like, I have two dogs and two cats and I just love spending time with them, so. If there was one thing you wanted your fans to know about, what would that be as a fun fact? I really enjoy cooking and I'm probably gonna try to learn cooking this year, like uh, uh, better cooking and like uh, baking. Uh, I used to go under the name like Bob Jenkins and like I was a pretty good kennel player back then. Uh, I used to pop up like a bunch of like Twitch streams and stuff, but yeah, that that guy, that's me. <laughs> For my first uh, first couple years of life, I lived in Mexico. My first language is Spanish. I have no idea how to speak it, but me and Palafox are from the same city. I think a lot, not a lot of people know that, but uh, yeah, we're from the same city, and uh, we actually went to rival high schools. So, who was your idol when you first started playing the game? <laughs> Juan definitely helped with that, but um, the idol playing the game, um, I watched Toys Ariana. I read like Reddit about Toys Ariana, and I was like, man, this guy is so good at this champ. Like. I don't know. It seemed like a myth, you know, to be like that good at Oriana. Because I remember watching the first like competition I actually ever watched was Worlds, and it was like a TPA match. So it was their mid laner toys. I thought he was pretty good, and then he just disappeared. So I wouldn't say he's my idol. I think he's still my favorite player. Is Reckless. Reckless. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's still like kind of the same people, you know. Like Core Judges was really good to or really good player to watch. Uh, Maiko, uh, a lot of LPL bot lanes that I, I really enjoyed to watch. It was Bjergsen and Doublelift when I was uh, a lot younger, uh, younger and uh, just playing when I was like 12, 13. Um, I was watching a lot of LCS and that's when they were the biggest names in, in LCS. I mean, they still kind of are to be honest, but um, definitely the ones I kind of idolized growing up, so. Realistically speaking, what world skin would you want? I mean, Easy answer for me, it would be Cannon, because that's my signature champion. I mean, I would pick a Rakan skin, for sure. I mean, I, I like to get Kai'Sa skin, I think. Uh, Kai'Sa and Kalista. I'm gonna have to go with Nidalee. I've been pretty known for my Nidalee for the past uh, few years, so if I ever won a world, it's still G Nidalee. <laughs> it's either Silas or Ori. Right now, I'd have to be Silas. Silas is so cool. I just love his like theme. I love the way he plays, it's just so fun. What is the unique way that CLG fans can show support for you? I think most CLG fans have like uh, stuck through the the thick and thin. So I, like just being a CLG fan, I think is being a unique a unique fan, I'd say. Uh, so just keep supporting. I think uh, everyone's like gonna be working really hard. Cheer me on. That that'd be cool. Oh wait, can I swear? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Cheer me on. That that's pretty cool. Honestly, just supportive messages. I've been pretty fortunate in my career to have a lot of supportive fans and um, you know, that really drives me to, to do better and you know, to play well. So, um, you know, just being supportive, throwing out a good luck, you know, really appreciate it.